Kaya the Koala, a story of kindness, patience, and friendship in the heart of the Australian outback, where the tall eucalyptus trees swayed gently in the breeze, lived a koala named Kaya. Kaya was a calm and gentle koala, known for her big heart and quiet patience. Her days were spent nestled in the high branches of her favorite eucalyptus tree, where she nibbled on leaves and enjoyed the warmth of the sun as it filtered through the branches. Kaya loved her peaceful life in the trees. The forest was always alive with the sounds of nature, the rustling of leaves, the songs of birds, and the distant croaking of frogs from the nearby creek. But more than anything, Kaya loved being there for her friends whenever they needed her. One day, as Kaya was dozing on a branch, her friend Benny the bird flew by in a panic. His feathers were ruffled, and he was chirping loudly, flapping his wings in distress. Kaya, Kaya, I need your help. Benny cried, flying in circles around her. Kaya opened her eyes slowly, blinking against the bright sunlight. What's wrong, Benny? She asked in her usual calm voice. It's my nest. The wind blew it right out of the tree. Benny chirped, landing on a branch near Kaya. I don't know what to do. My eggs are almost ready to hatch, and I need to rebuild it quickly. Kaya's heart went out to her small, feathered friend. She knew how important Benny's nest was to him, especially with his baby birds on the way. Don't worry, Benny, Kaya said gently. We'll figure it out together. Benny fluttered his wings anxiously. But how? The wind is still blowing, and I'm afraid I won't have enough time before it gets dark. Kaya smiled, her eyes soft with compassion. The best way to get through a difficult task is to take it one step at a time. Let's go see the damage first, and then we'll come up with a plan. Together, Kaya and Benny made their way to the tree where Benny's nest had been. When they arrived, they found the nest lying on the ground, scattered in pieces. Some of the twigs had snapped in half, and the soft leaves Benny had used to line the nest were blowing away in the breeze. Benny looked at the mess, his tiny heart sinking. Oh no! It's ruined, he chirped. How will I ever fix this? Kaya knelt beside the broken nest, her slow, thoughtful movements steadying Benny's nerves. It looks bad now, but it's not beyond fixing, Kaya said. We'll gather new twigs and leaves, and I'll help you rebuild it. It might take time, but we can do it if we stay patient. Benny wasn't so sure. He was used to flying quickly and darting from place to place, not the slow and careful work of building a nest. But Kaya's calm confidence gave him hope. Okay, he said, his voice a little less frantic. Let's try. Over the next few hours, Kaya and Benny worked side by side. Benny flew around the forest, collecting twigs and soft leaves, while Kaya used her strong paws to carefully weave the twigs into a new nest. Each time a gust of wind blew and scattered some of their work, Kaya remained calm. It's okay, Benny, Kaya would say. We'll just gather more. We're making progress. At first, Benny grew frustrated with the slow pace. He wanted the nest to be finished quickly so that his eggs would have a safe place to rest. But the more he worked with Kaya, the more he realized that her patience was helping them do the job right. Kaya didn't rush, and she didn't let setbacks bother her. She simply kept going, step by step. As the sun began to sink lower in the sky, casting a warm orange glow over the forest, the nest was nearly complete. Benny hovered nearby, watching as Kaya gently placed the final twigs and tucked soft leaves into the lining. There, Kaya said, stepping back to admire their work. It's done. Benny fluttered his wings excitedly. It's perfect, Kaya. Thank you so much. You've been so kind and patient with me. I couldn't have done it without you. Kaya smiled, her eyes twinkling. You're welcome, Benny. Sometimes things take longer than we'd like. But if we stay patient and work carefully, we can accomplish anything. Benny nodded, feeling a wave of gratitude. He flew into the new nest, testing its strength. It was even better than his old one, and he knew his eggs would be safe now. As they sat together in the branches, watching the sun set over the horizon, Benny thought about all the times he had rushed through his tasks without thinking them through. Kaya's patience had taught him an important lesson that sometimes the best way to do something was to take it slow and steady, with care and thoughtfulness. You're always so calm, Kaya, 
Benny said after a moment. How do you stay so patient, even when things go wrong? Kaya chuckled softly. I've learned that getting frustrated doesn't help when things don't go as planned. It only makes the task harder. But if you stay calm and take things one step at a time, you'll find that most problems can be solved with a little patience. Benny thought about this for a moment, then nodded. I think you're right. I'm going to try to be more patient from now on. Kaya's heart warmed at Benny's words. And if you ever need a reminder, you know where to find me. From that day on, Benny and Kaya continued to be the best of friends. Benny often came to Kaya for advice whenever he faced a challenge, and Kaya was always happy to lend a helping hand or paw. The other animals in the forest noticed how kind and wise Kaya was, and she became known as the one to go to whenever they needed help or guidance. As for Benny, he became more patient and thoughtful in everything he did. He remembered Kaya's lessons whenever he built a new nest or faced a difficult task. And whenever he felt like giving up, he thought of Kaya, carefully weaving the twigs into place, her calm and steady presence guiding him through. And so, life in the forest continued, with Kaya and Benny enjoying each day with their friends, knowing that with kindness, patience, and a little hard work, they could overcome any challenge that came their way.